Hello, and thank you for watching the review of the new Suntorn album, Symbiotic Polarity. Ooh. Um, my name is Thomas Mergle, and I have not written down any notes for this review. I've just listened to it a bunch, and I hope I can remember everything. I'm not going to be diving full, detailed uh, into each song, but uh, I'm going to give kind of a very decent overview of the album. Um, and I'm sure if you've been following Suntorn, they are a band out of San Diego, California. Uh, their last album was really good. And, uh, the last album being The Will to Power that came out in 2012. If you're not familiar with their sound, it's brutal death metal with a deathcore kind of, uh, riff style going on about it. So very simple, extreme brutality happening here. Um, they have upped their production and have achieved a better sound on this album, Symbiotic Polarity. And uh, they have kind of dropped the new metal sound that they kind of had. Um, I would say that they had, they definitely distinctively had their own sound with the Will to Power. With Symbiotic Polarity, they've kind of abandoned that sound and have grabbed onto other influences. That being uh, just slam, brutal death metal, and of course a little black metal riffing going on one of the songs. And uh, I think that this album is definitely a step up from their last one. Um, it's just more aggressive. It's just all around, just on a different level, a different scale of brutality. And I, I really enjoyed it every time. Um, I'd say the album starts off slow with disgust and venom. You kind of just get a Okay, this is good. I'm liking this. This is this. So this is Suntorn. Okay, and then it dives into a Godless Oasis, which was one of their first singles that they let out, and then All Is Fire, featuring Youngie from uh, uh, King Parrot, the Australian death grind band. And uh, so this is they had Travis Ryan on their last album, and they have uh, Youngie here on this album. So they're really good on picking solid guest vocalists, and. Uh, the album just progresses and gets more better. Um, there's just more of a, like a there's I don't know with the, with the writing there seems to be like a climactic effect where it just kind of keeps building and building and building. Um, I think the band. Um, well, let's talk about each each thing that's happening here. Guitars is phenomenal. It's loud. The distortion is just rough and raw. Um, I don't know what tuning they're in, but I can assume it's it's a low tuning because they'll just pop that bottom string, that low string, and just get a, a really harsh, um, almost suicide silent sound going on. Just that real death core fucking boom, dun, dun, dun. It's, it's really good stuff. Uh, bass is just right alongside with it. I really don't recall any moments where the bass really stood out. Uh, there was no just off the wall leads or anything. Uh, it just kind of followed along with either the, the raw guitar riffs or the groove of the drumming. Um, vocals on this are stellar. Um, I, I forgot the guy's name. I think it's Peter Swolinski. Let's let's look this up. Yes, Peter Slowinski. Um, his vocal style really makes this music pop. It really makes it stand out. His his lows are incredible. They are insane for him to get so much of a gurgly, guttural, brutal death metal sound, and then for him to just immediately switch it and go to something that would just blow Mitch Lucker out of the water. Uh, his highs are incredible. It's, uh, it's, that's where kind of like, I guess the deathcore sound could stick as well, is just the highs um, do remind me of Suicide Silence a lot, but in a good way. I really think that there is a fine balance between his uh, Peter's lows and his highs, and there is some raw, um, rough mid-range vocals coming out as well, but he has a range, and his range is phenomenal, and I love it. It's very good. Um, uh, guitarist Dan Sykes, he's the one that's been handling the, the, the riffing, and then you have bassist Greg Monts. I didn't say their names earlier, I apologize. Uh, Dan Sykes is also in Mal Maladorus, which they'll come out with, a, with some music eventually. And uh, X Throne of Disgust. So rest in peace with Throne of Disgust. Now, uh, I want to talk about drumming um, from uh, a man named T-Rex. He is uh, a very good drummer. He doesn't just stick with constant blast beats or kind of like the uh, the slam snare snaps and uh, just 
really harsh crashes. There's a uh, there's so many different kinds of groove happening on here, percussion-wise, that uh, that's another thing that makes this band stand out. Uh, the his his hands could be going slow while his feet are just going a million miles an hour. His double bass pattern is just is intense. It sounds clear. It sounds uh, just heavy all around, and it gives Suntorn the overall badass sound that it has. So each band member here is just full, just bringing in something to make this special. Uh, bass guitar also making the the actual guitar riff sound much more powerful. So um, also another thing I want to note is I like how natural and organic the drums sound um, in in this day and age where everything is just digital or even programmed, which makes it even more digital. I really appreciate just the organic drum sound that this really intense, heavy, brutal death metal band has. Um, especially in a day and age where, you know, everyone kind of has a, a triggered sound, and I don't, I, in or just the, I don't know, it just sounds computerized, electronic. It doesn't sound like real drums. Um, this album, for being as heavy as it is, sticks with an organic drum sound, which I appreciate. It really sticks out, and I really think it gives Suntorn a, another definite positive characteristic about them that makes them stand out. Um, I'm hope I'm I'm hoping I'm not just repeating myself here. I really like this album. It it's it's one where I could play it, I'll love it, and then I want to come back to it later that day. I, I really like this this album. I've listened to it plenty of times, and I think I will give this a nine out of ten. These guys deserve a good score. It's a really solid album. Um, when I'm not listening to it, I do think about it. I don't know, the song uh, All Is Fire, I really think it stands out. Um, not only from the guest vocals, but I really like how the drum pattern goes, especially that snare with uh, one of the riffs. It's really catchy, it's really kick-ass. That song gets stuck in my head all the time. Another song that gets stuck in my head is Stillborn in Expression. Um, a very dark song, a very just evil sounding track, and I really like that for for whatever reason they just kind of have like a little black metal riff going on there, and it's kick ass. It's a great opening riff, and then it just dives headfirst back into Sun Torn's uh, brutal sound. So I give it a nine out of ten. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time, and I will see you in the next review. Have a good day. Bye bye.